I, I want to just go to another yeah. aspect of this teacher thing, and I don't want, to, don't want to go to teacher bashing here, but this is another problem in our schools. This is audio from a classroom, a year eight classroom in the UK, but it shows how some teachers are pushing a very woke agenda so that for kids to be talking about two sexes apparently is intolerant. Have a listen. If you have a vagina, you're a girl. If you have a penis, you're a boy. Yeah. But cisgender is not necessarily the way to be. If you are talking about the fact that cisgender is the, the norm, that you identify with the gender that, of the sexual organ that you're born with yeah. or you're with, that's yeah. basically what you're saying, yeah. which is really despicable. Even though, because you've got those genes. how you identity, oh, how you identify. It. Yeah, it's it's not an opinion that yes, we're is. expressing this yes, school. It is. No, it's not. And if you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. Yeah, that's the UK, coming to a school near you soon. Now, Susie, I want my kids to be taught about tolerance and inclusion, but that's just going too far, isn't it? Well, I disagree that the... I, I don't think the teacher should be saying you have to agree with me or go to a different school. I yeah, mean, that's absolutely. clearly absurd. The teacher kind of lost lost the control of that debate. But these days it is widely accepted and I support it that gender is about identity. It's not just about binary identity, male and woman you know, and, and all about biology. It is about identity. And kids need to be having these discussions in te with teachers and in schools. This is happening everywhere in society. And teachers need to know how to handle it in a mature and respectful way and not just say to kids who don't necessarily agree with what they think, find another Get school. Yeah. Well, but Stephen, the thing is, if you go to the biology class, there are two sexes <laughs> and, <laughs> and your genitalia kind of are the clues. Uh, but then you, then you go yeah. to the social social studies and it gets a little bit blurry. Well, the problem is, you know, I think Linda Burney said we're, said we're living in a post-truth society and apparently we're living in a post-science society. Uh, the reality is that there are two genders and genders is about language um, and not about sexuality and there are two sexes and that is about sexuality. Let's talk about facts and, and teach kids <laughs> facts rather than, you know, everybody can identify as a teapot if they want to. <laughs> oh, but that's ridiculous. I mean, these days, even on a basic government form, there are at least three genders. It's male, female, other. That doesn't other. mean it's right. And, yeah, and exactly. we know that they're... No, exactly. but it means it's the reality of our of our modern world and yeah, schools need to come, come to grips with this and have these debates. It's the reality of our disconnection from reality, I think, putting all those exactly. options on, on, your, on your kids' uh, sport forms. 